Time me full gobos. Here we are, CDT division. Let's flip the coin. And let's check the coin. And let's keep the coin. Everyone who's paid up for week 12. Congratulations, you've gotten this far. Here it is. It's a much requested battle coming out of CD Division as this is the battle to stay in the qualifiers. It's the Invincible, the Amazing Rock Riders versus the legendary Caldwell Captains. Both teams absolutely having the piss taken out of them for most of the first two games of round two. So it was only a matter of time before these two show up and just start finding out is this the game that starts the great rally drive to qualify for for the playoffs of season number nine well as we can see here throw the rock and get the ref all completely cancelled in the stadium here poppy poopers ah uh, let's get it started in here rock riders perfect defense absolutely a beautiful result for them they're going to keep away from cuddles here for a while as you can see they've come in here they got three reels they've even bought a wizard for this particular game meanwhile Kisler coming in, four rerolls, and they've even got the fame. The fans are cheering old for them on this one. Only the one P on his rerolls, nothing in the tank over there for Kislev. It is going to be the Iron Man ways of it, the game. Right. Let's see what cleverness and cunning plan he's got today. As we can see, he's finally gone with the four blitzes that's good to see as you can see yeah he's only got the one catcher surviving into this game here yeah, like i say it's been a horrible horrible round two for both these teams here top teams suddenly well and it, it's just been all you know pain all around speaking of pain Meet me foot, and there's a quick one right there. He's down, no long term effect. They're gonna have to take that one. And here come the rest of the lads. It sounds like Lando the Bershut has had a great conversation here with his team. Apparently, the threat of going to the gulag. Not better still, going to VJ's help and trying to clean up his bedroom. That has his team clearly motivated for this game. That's pushed me, pushed you, but first blood already. Well, now let's see what the Super Idols can actually do about this one here. You can smell them from here. Well, you can smell something all right, the Bretonians, what do you expect? And he's gone in for an incredible denning one die drive. Quick reroll, but he does get the bell wrong finally. That will even things up on the pitch. That ah, could be a critical swing indeed. And now the Petonians are going to get in a position here for the classic screenplay. And they're going to wait here to see if the Kizzle team actually goes for a quick drive. No, he's certainly got the boots for it, so there we go. He's got tackle, forces his way in, gets rid of the AG4 player just for a short while. And now it's everyone's favourite, Worlds of Pain on the front line. That's a peon down. Uh, indeed, it looks like it's going to be the quick smash through on this drive. He's now fooling around with the wizard. There's the kick. And he's got a solid stun. And now he decides it's side cage time. VG's favourite game. There goes Cuddles. Well, Cuddles is going to set up for the later distraction. Later on, he's going to break out a couple of juggling balls. Of course, quite frankly, knowing him, he wants to harvest some balls to use for juggling. And this could rather be a very painful day for the peons. Front row action continuing here. Well, he's down for a while. How about you? No one else? Bretonians. Might be out of position on this one here, but they have cleared it one away. He's not losing a trick. He's going to put solid pressure in. There's the big blitz. Ah, it's all in. He's going to try and force this one away. It's just a solid hit, but he takes it. 
and it even gets through the armor. There's two early cracks, suddenly. Things are looking a bit topsy-turvy here for the machine. He's got to find a way out of there. There goes a quick A-roll. And he's still calmly waiting with the wizard in hand. Everyone stood up. Now light cheeky blocks. Kislev has to find a way to get through. Defensive line. And once again, it's the exploitation of the extremely long legs. This player is absolutely amazing. VLL and agility upgrade. Anything but a two. Makes you wish for the skill safe landing, doesn't it? And yes, that has been confirmed. Back by the NAF, that skill may actually be making a new appearance. We get to wait until December though, lads. I will let you know if that comes out in the new rules. Bretonians trying to dodge away. Ah, it's the one in nine. What's gone wrong? And again, biggest complaint here. The wizard still does not work properly in this version of Blood Bowl. I'm sorry, lads. It is supposed to be patched and fixed at some time. Because according to the rules, the wizard may also be used at the end of turn. Even if you have had a turnover, you may use it at your end of turn. Read the sucking rule book. No, not you, you lads. You lads read the rule book I know. Or you do, you know, column B. You consult with your hooligan. He tends to know some of the rule books better. Speaking of knowing the rules, here's a rule. Sit down. And he's away. Kislev not giving this one up. Finally, they have to use a precious reroll. But turn four, they've got four. Push me, push you. And cleverly, Cuddles is deciding to, you know, just idly eye him, lick his chops. Paint a little honey sign on him. Of course, in this case, it's honey flavored vodka. Air scan attack by the Rock Riders. As he's got to at least try and keep this score attempt quite honest. Well, he's brought him on back, but again, turn four, no re rolls left. It's a solid hit. And unfortunately, yep, tentacles, yes, well, the chains, but you know what they count them as, tentacles. And Coddles has definitely done his job. Right. And now it's some clever calculation here. How does he want to deal with this situation? As he wants to attempt fight. Instead, he's assorted it's a couple more boats. The Commissar is definitely in town. Ah, there's a quick twirl. Nothing actually happens. Brings Yellow Blitz back in for a good marking. Cuddles finally decides to unleash. Well, at least it's a solid hit. And there we go. It's in. Well done. Time for Jazz Feet indeed. That was a pretty solid drive, change of plan, good recovery, but it's cost him dear. Fortunately his KO comes back, but from now on, Kislev, you're down a player for the rest of this game. And so far, Rock Riders are still sitting on their own wizard. But it's good to get on the board. Builds confidence for the team, and he is keeping good in mind here. Four turns, no rerolls. Anything goes wrong, we'll stall this drive out completely. Let's hear it for coffee and whiskey in the morning. Best way of a double double. Now, many have complained here that the Kislov team is definitely one of the stranger teams to try and learn how to play. The machine here, Lando, has definitely demonstrated just how tough that really is. Because it's trying to develop the skills and trying to figure out exactly what to use certain players for. Kislev team, of course, 
still have some rather expensive blitzes, but the biggest problem the blitzes have is, well, quite frankly, they're not blitzes. Well, not in the normal sense anyway. Many have said that, quite frankly, their blitzes should actually acquire very different skills, like God, have them leap in, and then use the linemen as the actual blitzes. Because they're far more expendable. Some have complained that the bear isn't quite worth it. Of course, some have pointed out the bear is extremely worth it because, well, frankly, he's far more fun, he's cuddly, but also Moment 5 versus the Beast of Nurgle. His only problem is Bonehead, but at least it's not really stupid. So, quite frankly, I think he is quite an improvement, and depending on your strategy, an extremely useful tool of your team. Meanwhile, back at the game here. Well, he's not taking any chances here. He's going slightly potato, strong left, but it's because of this, and he's having to plan for any failure is going to stop this drive dead cold. Come on, lads, get in there. And of course, we're discovering here the problem facing any Kislev team is quite frankly, it's the miracle of leap. There is no such thing as a safe cage. Oh, he gets lucky there on the blodger. He does get a solid hit. And he's down. But he's not out, so he'll keep that one mocked up. Now he's making sure that one, you're not going anywhere today, Sunshine. Another sort of kick. And so far the Kislev team here, are quite content here to, of all things, keep Cuddles in a kind of reserve position. They're going to wait to see more players. He's really trying for the optimal pin at least two players, hopefully three. And then that should properly contain whatever the bets are trying to come up with. That's the use of the bear. Yeah. Ah, let's face it, he's a favourite with the kids. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cuddly. Come on, I dare you. Go on, cuddle him. You'll rip your fucking face off. Well, the Britannians have decided the strong left's not going to work out, and it's balls to walls. They are breaking right as hard as they can. Front line action here. There's a solid punch. Meet me fist. It's one of those gifts that just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Brings a tear to your eye. Well, he decides not to risk the dodge up, but he does like the idea of tying up two of his players. That's not such a bad idea. Bit of a risk, but at this point, yeah, he's got the one playing advantage. He's using it. Ah, there we go. 1 in 36. And just as I said, the play advantage, there it goes. Bell wrong. And now it's the pain of no rerolls. It's almost like playing a sucking Aveling team. And of course, this has also been discussed in here in the recent discussions. If they do have a new update coming out in December, potentially for the Aveling team. Yes, you heard this here first. Avelings might be getting some new additions. It's just like the Goblins got an update. And we're still waiting for that to be released. The Avelings might indeed be getting an update. Our three men get the new skill Timber, which is an excellent skill. Basically, any upright Aveling helps a three men actually stand up. And he makes the dodge away reroll. Uh, it's the brilliance of very long legs. He even gets the solid hit. It's a push me, push you. Does not follow up. Oh, this is some really good play here. Boy, the kids left team. Taking advantage of the very long legs on the leap to create a new tactical situation. And this is why he is called the machine. I understand. During his childhood here, he was well known for robbing trains, space stations, just about everything. He is quite the legend in the league. Also, everyone knows he is quite a ladies' man. I have seen the reports. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> Enough of the distraction there. He's even getting me turned on. You can fill these nipples. Way too much information for you here. It's early in the morning. Right. Here we go. One die. Blitz away. And yep. There's the problem. What in sex? Down he goes. It's even a stun. Bretonians, you've got problems. You've got lots of problems. And you can see it was the clever positioning here going, why does he do that? Because he's got gold. That's absolutely brilliant positioning. Suddenly, someone's been paying attention to the broadcasts. He's got them completely isolated. He really wants this one down. He got him. And right into a 1 in 36. That crowd's stunned. It's right back at you. This is gone completely bonkers. Rock Riders! Suddenly, it's like a reprieve in the second act. And he's back in. Fists flailing. Soap balls twirling. No! 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 Well, he's awfully lucky. It's a brilliant throw in. But that's the end of the half, unfortunately. It's 1-0. Are you coming back? Yes, you are, lad. Your team needs you. Your fans need you. And let's face it, your bloody coach needs you. Right. What a surprise this is. Neither team giving, a, giving either one a chance here. Both bringing their A-game here, but being shot down by Nuffle as hard as he could. It was a definite soap bag, tea bag, right there in the final drive. Well done to the kids love coach here, once again figuring out an unorthodox way using the leap to completely contain that drive. Uh, right now, someone's breaking wind up there. Of course, for this battalion team, how can you tell? Well, he's got three re rolls back. He's got his wizard still in hand. Not over. Till his fat Aveling sings. And he's beginning with some solid punching right up the front. He's got two down. And a push me, push you. And there we go. Complete aggression by the Bretonian team. Yeah, meet me fist. Because he likes a good laugh. Well, the lad's down. He's keeping his options open. There comes the peon running on down. Has he got the ball? Yes, he does. So far, ball handling. Not a problem today. You were waiting for the cheeky remark there, wasn't it? Now, I'm not going to say it. We only have proper humour on this channel here, not this gutter toilet humour. Yeah, buggers. Alright, Kislev team, as we know, this is not safe. <laughs> but, and he is again looking at this wizard, he'd like to find a way to drain him out. Okay, that did sound wrong, didn't it? There's a salt and punch down, he's got him contained. And he goes back into the roving screen position. Ah, hey, Cuddles, what you want to do today? That's a great idea. That should at least tie those two up. This is where Cuddles now can certainly come on his own against this team here. He's pretty good at containing usually at least two players, but of course, Batonians have Dauntless, so they can get out of this fair enough if he's willing to take a chance. Ah, right, Target Dummy is quite stunned by the solid punch to his face. That's all right, his mate's getting right back into it. And as we finally get back to the recording there, there's a quick injury. Oh, I fear the Capture's having a wee bit of a troll. It's about half as drunk as I am this morning. Let's zoom that one right back in, get a better view on this one. Ah, that seems to have done it. Bit more push me, push you, a couple more solid punches. Kislev down two players. It's now their best nine. 
Uh, it's a quick hand off action. Where are you going to go with this ball, lad? And yeah, well, he's taking an awful disc. Off he goes. It's a solo run. Uh, he makes everything. However, there's the fail of the dodge away from Cuddles. As predicted, double dodge fail. Uh, not missing a trick here. Yes, he's a blodger. No, wait, he's not. My surprise. Here comes Kislev. He's got everything thrown in. Doesn't want that result. He'll take that one now because, as noted, not blodger. Carrier is indeed down. And yes, thank you very kindly. I'll take that. Uh, meanwhile, up in the front line. Finally, he finds a good use for the broken vodka bottles and takes clear of that little problem. Kislev is definitely trying to fight to stay out of the gulag here. It's push me, push you. Meanwhile, over in the flank, cuddles. Gets an easy stun. And that frees up what, for all intents and purposes, is the eligible receiver. Well, that is finally it for the Bretonians. They just cannot stand this any longer. Out comes the Precious Wizard. They definitely need to score this one in. Now the Bretonian is going to take care of this little problem. You've got everyone moving, but you got to try and get this one down. And that's not going to do it. It's a push me, push you. But, Dull's move is eligible ball carrying it closer to the ball. Uh, yeah, there it is, the failed dodge. Here comes the reroll. And he's got it. Go, long you lad. Go. And he makes it. And he does indeed. At 1-1. One, one. Well, there's a brief a sigh and relief from the supporters section for the Rock Riders. But as you can see, their casualties are indeed starting to pile up. It's 9 on 10. Now, a matchup like this, in theory, should favour the Batonian team. But as you can see, it's been some precious blood. Two blockers taken down, including a tackler. And, of course, as we noted there on that drive to make sure he has used his one precious wizard. So, Kislev team has, of course, six turns to work their magic and get this one in. Well, we'll see which team is walking away with the princess at the end of this match. Indeed. Come on, come on, you can do it, come on. I admit it is very careful planning here. He wants to be conservative. Just slightly, in case there's a poor blitz, he knows of the kick. There it is. And suddenly, someone has turned the spotlights on early in the stadium. Next thing you know, blinding sunlight. <clears throat> and there's a few more solid punches on the front line. And it's a critical injury to filth encrusted peon. That's going to make a huge difference. Certainly the kids left don't feel like they're going quite so up Bill. There's another good solid punch down. He'll take the stun. And with care and precision, you can see the kids left team is setting up for every possible 
situation that if something's going to go wrong, well, he's ready for it because he is the machine. Of course, there are unsubstantiated rumors here that during the off-season here, Lando does hang out with the Russian Mafia. I will never confirm or deny that, but let's just say it's very interesting who shows up at his parties. And those are quite incredible parties. Right, well, back on the field here. Not missing a trick here. Showing Diamond again that this is definitely a team with no fear, no intimidation. They are going to try everything they've got in a bag of crisps to try and stop this one. And he's brought everyone in here. Filth and all. We are starting to see the unfortunate results here in the injury box of the mandatory imposed once a year bath on the team though. Players of dirt have clearly failed to protect his team. And once again, Kislev getting back to work. Finally, Cuddles decides, you know what, he needs a good yiffing. Rob me, Billy bitch, and he's not going anywhere. Well, there goes the wrestle. And this forces a moving up of the ball there. He unfortunately blows the hand off there because it's clearly not a bottle of vodka. And it's clearly dropped. This is the opportunity. That the heroes have been looking for, and they are gonna be so all over this worse than the last damsel in distress. Here's a quick wrestle, he'll take that. Ball is cleared, but now he's gotta get someone to actually pick up the bloody thing. It's all kind of movement and eligibility here. He's got another easy punch down. He figures he's gotta keep this one tied up. And not the way he likes it. He's even got to keep the other bear preoccupied. And then it is. The failed dodge away. And you can see it there. One in nine. Nuffle is definitely taking an interest in this game. And Nuffle's interest is purely how bad they can violate either couch. Now oh, we can see them cringing from here. There's the jump up, he gets the quick walk. And it works, it's down. And this time he's got the ball. Millicle of AG4. He runs down the field. Is he considering the handoff? No, he does not because he did a blitz action. And right now at this moment he's thinking safe and secure. Rock Riders are seeing, heading down the field, that best chance. Once again, it's the flag in golf situation. And again, a failed quick dodge does not pay off. He does make it, but unfortunately now misses the critical GFI. And it's all gone wrong. And not missing a trick. Kislev gets that one in. 2-1. It's time for the dance of victory. Not over yet though. We have seen this team in the CDT in action here. The Rock Riders do not disappoint their fans. They've still got players. They can still do it. He's even got the one re-roll. Two turns. Can he do it? Let's find out. Tension is palpable in the stadium. With this possible win here, Gold War captains may find themselves finally back in pursuit of the last qualifying spot. Well, this might become quite a critical kick. Let's see if the fans even do get involved on this one. Ah, uh, the fans definitely have gotten involved. It's a perfect kick right to his player. Free catch, and he's even gotten a special reroll. 
clearly inspired. That basically takes that player out of this drive. And the rest of the crew is not missing a step, finally. Dotless. Pro, he gets it. Down goes Cuddles. And Cuddles is down for a good long bell rung. That is a huge hit. Absolutely huge. It's bigger than my sister's. No, nope, not going to say it. <laughs> just no, no. I just understand that an entire Volkswagen has been lost in there one time. Just saying. And not missing a single beat. He is charging down the field. It is the quick handoff. He makes the catch redraw. And unfortunately, it's all potato time. But the player's got the skills. He's got the blodge. He's got the sidestep. It is going to be absolute insanity time. Turn 15. Both teams taking it clearly to the mattress. A solid kick. And once again, paying daily in blood. On our heels, another peon down. He makes the breakthrough. He makes it, and it's the god to boot. That gets him the extra body. He's even mocking up the peon. This is it. This could be the block that decides the game. Here we go, lads. I got him. I absolutely got him. The ball is out. Where are the fans throwing this one? They throw it out in the end zone. And it's an horrible result for the Rock Riders. Straight into the hands of the Kislev team. And now it's everything they've got. They've got the ball getting it down. But still, they've got to rescue this ball. And they've used the reroll to do it. The peons are putting everything they've got in. Well, he's got the ball. But you know what? You've only got one choice. And that wasn't it. <laughs> Overcome by a shock of nerves, the star blitzer here sadly loses the ball. And it looks like it's all over, but the final punching. Kislev team pulling one right out in the dying seconds here. As we said, ball handling not a problem, but look at the final results there. 2 1. Staggering, as it means the Cold War captains are still in the race. Good recovery, and this could be the game win that finally motivates their team to charge into the qualifiers. As for the Rock Riders, this could be the Swan Song, but they're not left out of it yet. They could still be the spoiler team. Two wins, you never know. This is how tight that division is. Tighter than my sister. Anyway, Nuffle, bless your dice.